All right, I got some further look at uh, the anti-impact resin, and this is Joel with Headhunters Custom. So we still have no splitting on the previous arm, which is uh, miraculous. Uh, now maybe maybe if I would have used F69. I'm starting to find out that the flex resin I was using just had like a weird knack for splitting. It's not the best thing in the world when you're trying to make action figure parts. But anyway, so this is just pure anti-impact resin. No splitting. Everything seems fine. A little stiff feeling still, though. Um, someone, I uh, can't remember your name now, I'm sorry. You can uh, you can uh, mark yourself in my, my thing that you're the one who gave me the idea. Someone gave me the idea to do 80-20 with anti-impact resin and um, TH-72. So we're looking at that now. Um, it's so far even smoother. He's kind of right. It has a little bit more give. Um, I was not able to twist this arm before without ripping off that peg, <laughs> so, uh, that right there is, uh, enough reason, um, not to mention you save some money, so, you know, a little bit of money, not, not a ton, but the, that is pretty smooth, let's go back to the, that's very stiff still, um, so, we got nice smooth elbow, movement. I mean, honestly, it's starting to feel like a real toy at this point. Um, this is moving around smooth. Once again, that was another item that, that simply broke off. Um, we, we have hand movement like this. I should be able to, now this is what it's hard. It's probably my design's fault, but I should be able to twist the hand around. That way I can do that instead. But that's nice and smooth too. Um, pin everything about it. As I said, um, I think some of this is just going to be functionality. I, uh, I have too much going on. <laughs> I was going for a thing and uh, I don't think I would include this and this, you know, it would just be one or the other, but I was doing this because I was going to make swappable uh, van braces and stuff, but honestly, at the end of the day, when you're making your own parts and stuff, it's way easier to just make your own slip-over armor. Um, the hand, it's almost a little loose, so that might, this, uh, it's kind of doing that, but, um, I don't know if, I mean, the, that's something that's engineering. Once again, we'll figure it out uh, when I start working on my new joints and stuff more. So, we still also have this thing with a real action figure. That's not broken, let's just say. <laughs> with the real action figure part shoved into it and uh, still no splitting. Still super stiff. I can't get the arm out. <laughs> I could try a uh, wrong arm socket, but... Probably would want to heat it up, I guess. That's the only other thing, then, is that you still have to heat it up quite a bit for to, to put them together. At least with this. Um, I was really hoping for a situation in a world where I you just pop it in place and boom, boom, boom. But I guess even real action figures, you can't just do that. So, uh, yeah, 80-20 anti-impact with TH-72. Definitely, I think, the way to go. Um... I didn't change any settings from the one to the other as far as printing goes, so um, I should probably share my printing settings since the original ones just are not actually good. Anyway, so try it out. It's pretty good stuff, um, and uh, yeah, I'm off, off to start making a whole new joint system and everything that I can uh, start making my own action figures. Woohoo!